We are back and we're talking about another event that the Colorado College's Fine Arts Center has on the horizon for us this fall. And this one is the Dia de los Muertos celebration um, for the Fine Arts Center. We have Savannah Pinnell and we have Ronnie Smith here with the college and we appreciate you coming and chatting. Yeah, we're really excited to talk to you guys about our Dia de los Muertos event. It was a super successful event that we had last year, and we're really excited for the community yeah. to come out again. I remember that. I remember, you know, uh, I, we, I'm pretty sure we covered it. I'm pretty sure Krista was there. And, you know, you guys, why is it so important for you guys to celebrate and to raise awareness for everyone? Yeah, um, it's really important for us to celebrate Dia de los Muertos because it's a chance for people whose that is their culture. They get to experience that, and it's an opportunity for people to learn about other cultures, too, that they mm. are not a part of. And, Ronnie, you are a part of uh, the Bemis Art School, and you have some classes coming up. And we're going to, and we can get right into this, sure. really. Um, that kind of educates people on what the Day of the Dead is and, and why we celebrate it and why it's so important and what these schools are. Right, so we, this is a part of the Dia de los Muertos celebration. Um, you get to make a sugar skull and take it home. So if you want to grab a blank skull ah. and we'll kind of practice our decorating skills. Okay. Um, any color you want to start with, you can be as you want to do one yeah. too. <laughs> you have you to. Want to. Uh, we got a couple examples up in the front, um, but you want to kind of squeeze from the top. And it's if you've ever uh, decorated a sugar cookie, it's kind of the same situation. Yes. Usually you go around the eyes and. Um, kind of go from there. You can use any lines that you want to. I mean, we kind of have a lot of flower symbols um, in the Day of the Dead and a lot of dot dots and patterns. And so decorating these skulls, is that really part of the tradition? Oh, you guys are going, I, I just filled in the <laughs> circle there because that's <laughs> simple to me. Um, but you guys, this is part of the tradition that goes along with, so what is, I guess, the meaning of these skulls? Um, with that tradition? It's it's a tradition uh, usually for families um, in, in Mexico to to have a mold and kind of pass it down, a sugar school mold. So this is kind of a take on, on that. Um, in the classes you'll learn a little about, bit about the holiday, about the culture, how they celebrate, um, and this is kind of a fun way just, just to start learning about, about the holiday. And Savannah, you know, this is a great way for people to express themselves and you know with the mm -hmm. school and you guys really push the cultural differences and and really highlighting every culture why is that so important for you guys at the college yeah well it's really important for us as we're working towards being more accessible and more inclusive as part of the fine arts centers um, practice and so we're really excited to be able to offer things that are bilingual for people and just about different cultures and so people can um, learn about this and or learn about when this is going to be, I'm sorry, this later this year, when is it going to be? It's gonna be November 1st and 2nd. Okay, yeah. and my question was, people <laughs> can learn um, more about it on the website and is there any specific location that they should go? Yeah, this. yeah, you can check out our calendar at the Fine Arts Center's website and there's information about how to sign up. It is a free event for the Ooh, whole family. I love that. Awesome. So make sure you keep in touch with them, follow their website uh, to stay up to date of when the events are. They have so many events, as we've learned today, at the Fine Arts Center and I think it's awesome because... Yeah, good for you guys. <laughs> uh, just keep it going. And their website is fac.coloradocollege.edu.